Hi, Scorpio. It's me, it's Julia with Scorpio Squad. If you're new, thank you so much for being here. If you're returning, thank you so much. Um, thank you for your subscribes, your likes, your shares, your comments. Don't forget to subscribe. It helps the growth of the channel. And also, turn on your notification bell to all. Uh, that way you'll be notified when I upload new videos. I do two videos a day, seven days a week for the sign of Scorpio. And it's a strictly Scorpio channel. I hope you guys are all doing great. Sending you my love, my blessings, my protection, my light. Um, I'm hoping that um, you're feeling good. You're feeling right. Yeah. Um, for uh, information about me, uh, my social media links, guys, you need to know. There's only one Facebook and one Instagram. There are no other ones, okay? Um, if you want early access to bonus love readings for the sign of Scorpio, then you need to get it through Patreon. If you're looking for a private love reading from me, um, you only can book it through my website and pay for it there. I would never contact you and ask you to send me money or if you want a reading, okay? It's all listed down below. Um, also, if you want a live tarot card reading, there are toll-free numbers for the USA, UK, Canada, and India. They are my own private tarot card readers. All you got to do if it's your first time calling to take advantage of that offer is just mention my name, Julia, to get your first reading discounted. All right? Everything that you need is listed down below. If you're looking for official Scorpio Squad merchandise, the Teespring store below the video. All right, today is December the 14th. I love you, Scorpio. Let's see what we've got. Keep in mind, the roles can be reversed. Keep in mind, all these messages will not be for you. It's whatever spirit wants me to say. Take what's yours and leave the rest for your brother, sister, Scorpios on this channel. Okay? For Scorpio, please. For Scorpio, for December the 14th, dear angels. I'll do one final pass through here. It looks like a card overturned in here, but I'm not sure. If it did, we'll take it. If not, then we'll let it go. Okay, these are the messages that came out from the first pass. All right, I'm just going to put them in the order as they were received, Scorpio, for you. Okay? We got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards. Okay, Scorpio, here we go. Speak your world into being. Positive thoughts, positive affirmations, right? Your wishes, your dreams, your prayers. They're listening, especially if you um, are connected with spirit, right? Think positive. I know the energies are really weird right now. You feel yourself a little unbalanced. You're going from the shadow side to the light side, light side to the shadow side. Try to find your balance right now, okay? Because I feel the moments that you go into that shadow side, everything is bad. You're never going to accomplish what you want. You're never going to have enough. You're never going to make your dreams come true, blah, blah, blah. Don't think like that, okay? It's just the energies messing with you, especially if you are in the light. Release your blocks. And it's that with that thinking too, right? Don't let anything hold you back anymore. Don't let anybody hold you back anymore. There's people that are jealous of you, Scorpio. There's people talking behind your back. There's people trying to give you a hard time. You need to cut the cord now. And you need to block those individuals out of your life. And you know this now. I don't want you going into the new year with this type of energy around you, okay? See the bigger picture, okay? You need to look around you, realize what's going on around you, right? And really um, see everything for what it truly is and make your decision based upon that, Scorpio, okay? But they're asking you to really look behind why people are acting the way they're acting. Why people are talking the way they're talking. There's a reason for all that. Okay? Release control. Especially if it comes to a particular relationship. You can't control the outcome. If it's meant for you, it's meant for you. If it's not, it's not. And that's why you... I'm always talking about surrendering to the divine, right? And trust in the magic. 
You may feel you need to do something a certain way to get the outcome that you want. No. It's not going to work this time. You need to have trust and faith. Clear your mind from all kinds of negativity. Clear your mind. Get in your stillness. Meditate. Right? Get your mind clear. Close out all the noise that's around you, Scorpio. Keep your heart open. Very important. Very important. I don't want you getting icy on me, Scorpio. Just because there was one bad apple or a couple of bad apples doesn't mean all the rest of the apples are bad. Keep your heart open. I feel there's somebody that loves you very much, but I feel you don't even realize it. But, okay. Everything, I guess, will happen in the time it's supposed to happen. But make sure to forgive and, leave, and heal that heart chakra and leave your heart open to love. Don't change who you are for anybody, Scorpio. Just because they were not right doesn't mean you have to change who you are. Relax. Yes, you need to take time to relax and get some rest. You've been doing way too much. Okay? You need to just relax and breathe and meditate. And pour some attention into yourself. They also want you to go wild and do things you normally wouldn't do. Taking that leap of faith, right? You're always trying to do the right thing by everyone, you know. Go have some fun, Scorpio. Talk less and feel more. That's what Spirit wants you to do right now. Talk less and feel more. You may need to just be by yourself for a little while and shut everybody out. And do a lot of thinking and feeling right now, Scorpio. But I feel when you come out of this, it's going to be much better for you. Okay? There may be a lot of people demanding your attention. Spirit saying, take some time out. Be quiet. Start feeling and thinking and go within. Let's see what the Romance Angel deck wants to say. For Scorpio, please. For Scorpio. For December the 14th. I caught that one. I don't know what it is. It looks like it's deception, isn't it? No, it's not. It's reconciliation. For Scorpio, please. For Scorpio, for December the 14th, what do they need to know in regards to love? Dear angels, clarity and guidance, please, for the sign of Scorpio. Clarity and guidance for the sign of Scorpio. Oh, deception did come out after all. Okay, I feel that's a different message for somebody else that needs to hear that. All right. Here we go. So for some of you, you will be coming into a reconciliation with somebody who you have a lot of chemistry with, okay? But the two of you are not talking, or not a lot. It's time to have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation so the two of you can finally come together, okay? As an orb just went by my head over there, okay? Because it's a really beautiful connection. It's two people that really get along great and have respect for one another and think alike. Deception. Let go of control issues. Again, with that control thing. Okay, listen. Someone's wearing a false mask here. I don't know if it's you. I don't know if it's the other person. Okay. But I feel somebody's trying to control a situation. Um, so it lands up the way they want it to land up. To their advantage. Could be the person that you're dealing with. Be careful. Be careful. There may be somebody um, not being honest with you who may be coming into, I don't know, there's something about this person when they come into your life. Um, they're very controlling. This could be the one getting to know each other. You've already met the romantic partner you seek, Scorpio. They're right there. Love is right in front of you. And you don't even, 
You're not even seeing it. Maybe right now you just don't want to see it. Maybe right now you just want to be alone. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your inner, uh, inner, innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Again, you know, that conversation needs to happen. This conversation that's going to happen between you and another, it will change everything. For the better, though. Okay? Let's see what your individual messages are. For Scorpio, please, for December the 14th, Angel, Spirit, White Light, what do we got for Scorpio? What do we have for Scorpio? I feel you're coming from a place of a lot of gratitude for everything that you have, and you are trusting in the universe. I don't know. It's for a certain group of you. And you are finding your happiness, and your happiness is coming from within yourself. Cards down. Couldn't be a Scorpio reading without cards being down. You are manifesting your dreams. You are. And there's choices to be made here. There is somebody who you need to make a choice about. There's separation between you and this person, but you know it's a soulmate connection. 100%. Two cards down, Scorpio. I'm going. And what is this? Yes. You are in your own bliss. You have found your inner peace. You're listening to your intuition. You're manifesting. What beautiful cards. Happiness, inner peace, intuition, manifestation, trust, gratitude. I feel that's a group of Scorpios. That's the energy you're in, and that's a beautiful energy. For others of you, um, like I said, you are making a choice right now about somebody you're in separation with, somebody who you have a strong soulmate tie with. And you're making a choice of whether or not you um, want to get together with this person or not. I feel you will be. Yes, it's your destiny to be with this person. Um, I feel here this is somebody who you can be really creative with and, and abundant with. You will be coming together with somebody. I don't know. I mean, you will be meeting them. You will be coming together with them, Scorpio. As friends, as lovers, I don't know. As a future marriage partner, I don't know. But Scorpio, you need to express how you feel. And you're not doing that. I feel communication is going to start here with the Ace of Swords being here. Okay? So you you are going to get past um, holding back, saying what you're feeling. You will open up and have communication with this particular individual. And whoever you're dealing with is an emperor or an empress, that's for sure. They even could be a little bit older than you, Scorpio. I feel you're, this person's going to be completely honest with you. And whatever they're going to tell you when you speak to them, they're going to speak their truth. You're going to understand a lot of things after that conversation. Things will go into balance between you and another individual. Okay, here we go. Next message. Divine masculines you have a new beginning. Okay. Wow, this is amazing. Look at that. We've got divine masculine and divine feminine. One at each end. There's a new beginning for my divine masculines. You're a little nervous. Um, it could be your divine feminine that's nervous. Maybe they feel like they're, you know, they're body conscious, conscious about their body. I don't know, but there's some nervousness here about having this new beginning. For some of you, your third eye has opened about a particular friendship. It's saying relinquish control and ha and believe in divine timing. I'm not going to say the P word, Scorpio. For Scorpio, please, for December the 14th. For some of you, you want to come together with somebody, but you feel you're not as abundant as them. Abundance is coming to you. And I feel this particular individual that you are thinking about coming together with may have inspired you to be more abundant.
someone's doing a lot of thinking about travel. I'm also seeing here that the divine is coming in here to reveal some kind of uh, secret passion somebody has. Okay, so somebody's doing a lot of thinking about traveling. They have the wisdom and they are changing. Um, they're actually thinking about having a marriage with somebody. They are closing out a cycle of being heartbroken and they want a new chapter. Okay? With the adventure card here, it is a brand new beginning. And you're both mirroring each other and you're both wanting one another even though nobody is expressing this at this particular time. On the bottom of the deck, I've got love. So there is love here. All right, let's go to the Animal Wisdom deck. Clarity and guidance for the sign of Scorpio, please. Be playful, Scorpio. Be playful. They want you to enjoy your life. I keep telling you, make time to have fun. Or Scorpio, please. Dream the world into being, the world that you want. Claim your own independence, which you are very independent, Scorpio. I feel you're trying not to be codependent on anyone. Overcome your obstacles right now. Whatever you feel is holding you back or you feel that it's never going to happen, Spirit is saying, overcome those obstacles in that way of thinking. Okay? And trust in the divine detours. How things change. Because you are very, um, you're seeing everything very clearly now. And there may be a divine detour and you'll go, oh wow, now I understand why that's happening the way it's happening. Right? For Scorpio, please. For Scorpio. Right now, it's time to heal. Okay? It's that last removal, cutting the cords, all that stuff. It's time now. You've got to do it. Okay? You don't want to bring this into the new year with you, Scorpio. Sometimes life sinks. We all know that. Sometimes you may have been wanting somebody, a particular person in your life, it just didn't work out. But there's a reason. But you have to look at it, Scorpio. You learned a very valuable lesson from this as well. Okay? You really did. Make your dreams real. Come with that idea and ask the Divine for help to make your dreams a reality. Okay? All right, Scorpio, that's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. Sending you much love and many blessings. Leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Love and kisses, Scorp. I'll see you again tomorrow.